Leo. What's up, Leo Massive? It's your girl, D with 8th House Energy. I'm here to bring you your weekly read. This is going to be for, um, well, it's going to be dated March 1st through the 7th. But you know time is fluid, so whenever you read this reading is when it's going to resonate and when it needs to resonate. Um, I do want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I do appreciate everything that you do for the channel. You guys donate to the channel. You send decks to the channel. You get readings. Um, I've been really busy with readings, but it's a good busy. I'm not complaining at all. I'm just telling you guys that I appreciate you. Thank you so much for reaching out and trusting me um, to help you to provide insight on your journey. Um, let's see what's going on. Oh, planetary alignments, Leo. Look, right now we got, um, well, on the 4th. Mercury is going into Aquarius. Ooh, thank God, right? It's coming out of that retrograde nonsense that's going on for a lot of people. Um, but we're still in the pre-shadow stages, so we got to be there until the end of March. So, you know, the, the worst, hopefully, is over, all right? But you should start feeling these energies subside a bit. Um, we also have, um, okay, yeah, so Cancer, I'm sorry, Nep Mercury was going into Aquarius, and then on March 21st, uh, Saturn is going to go into Aquarius. So because of these two um, shifts into Aquarius, these two planets going into Aquarius, what you're going to see is, you know, as far as in the workplace and the organizations that you deal with, you're going to see a lot of policy changes. You're going to see that people are retiring, especially board of execs. People are retiring and being replaced, whether it's, you know, um, board of execs down to, you know, um, maybe a shift leader or a, you know, um, your immediate supervisor. You're going to see a lot of changes. You're also going to see a lot of changes in policies and procedures at your job. You know, so a lot of people might be frustrated because they got to implement these changes and then the other people will be frustrated because, you know, they're the ones who have to abide by the changes, you know. So you're going to see a lot of that going on. So brace yourself if it's not already happening. Um, on the consumer end, what you're going to be experiencing is you're going to be getting a lot of notifications from different organizations, letting you know that, you know, their policies and procedures have changed in some way, shape or form, and you need to be aware. For example, I just got um, a text message from T-Mobile the other day telling me that my equipment fee, the amount that I pay monthly for the equipment fee is going to go up. So that's an example of the type of notification you may be getting from companies that you do business with. And things like that. A lot of people are still switching jobs, um, changing positions. Um, you're going to see a lot of the humani humanitarian efforts as far as organizations changing their policies and procedures, um, changing heads, changing, um, you know, direction. Um, a lot of that's going on, getting rid of the old stuff with Saturn, realizing the limitations that were there and replacing them. Now, as far as on the personal front, we have Uranus and Taurus right now. Taurus, that house of Taurus is all about how you feel about yourself. It's about your self-esteem. It's about um, your possessions as well. It's also about, you know, your feelings, your values. What do you feel is important? What's important to you and how is it important to you and why? All right. So valuables, whether it's something that's sentimental and can't be bought, um, whether it's an idea or a way of life, whether it's, um, you know, um, something monetary that you can purchase. Um, you know, this house is also the house of money. So a lot of people are going to be focusing on their money. Um, we have Venus going in here on March 4th. So um, a lot of people are going to be looking at love in a matter of what's important to me. You know, what didn't work for me in the past? What do I need to change so that I can get the love that I want, the stable, you know, secure love that I want? So you're going to see a lot of people going through changes or you may even be feeling it yourself in reference to the relationships you were in, the relationships you are in, and the relationships you look to cultivate moving forward. All right, so that just gives you a little bit of a... Um, idea of what everybody planetary wide is experiencing so let me go ahead and get your cards out leo and let's see how you're doing all right so the first card out here for you king of coins in reverse this is the king of pentacles in reverse hmm now this could because we're um this is taurus energy and because um venus is in taurus and uranus is in taurus right now taurus is all about your money how you make money OK, how much money you have. So some of you could be sitting back looking at your finances, looking at, OK, well, I have this much, but is this enough for me to live off of? You know, what is it that I need to scale back on? What do I need to stop spending on? 
you know, what do I need to focus on financially in order to bring in more money? Um, that's what I'm getting strongly for some of you, but, um, that could change as we pull the cards out because the king of coins could represent in reverse, could represent somebody who has no follow through. Maybe you're not making the plans that you need to in reference to getting your financial situation situated. Maybe you're not strategizing enough. Some of you um, may need to sit down and figure out what's important to you, what's not important to you, and how you're going to go about getting that. Some of you could be going through changes with your employer. Some of you may have lost your job. OK, some of you may have cut back and gone part time instead of full time. OK, um, but I'm getting a sense here that there might be a lack of finances here. OK, but let's see what's challenging this. We have the six of cups in reverse. OK, so this is um, nostalgia here or living in the past, you know, maybe expecting things that are unrealistic. OK, so maybe in the past, what worked for you to make sure that you were financially um, stable um, was OK, but maybe that's not working now. Um, again, some of you may have lost your job and the challenge is you um, looking back at what happened to um, see what it was that went down so that moving forward, you know, you won't have any issues. Some of you, you know, um, this could represent a divorce here. All right. And um, having to pay out child support. OK. Um, but let's see what the universe, your higher self, your spirit guides, your ancestors will, want you to keep in mind during this time. Mm, the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, this is Taurus energy. Okay, again, a lot of changes going on in the house of your values, your worth, your materialism. Okay, and the things that you own um, and money. So with the Hierophant in reverse here, like I said, someone could have gotten a divorce all right, because this is what I'm showing here in reverse. But somebody is um, maybe not doing something in a traditional manner. Somebody's not conforming to traditional standards. OK, and maybe as a result of that, they had real unrealistic expectations, um, which could have uh, led to your financial deficit here. OK, whether it was someone not following the rules at a job. OK, and as a result, losing the job or but um, but this is about not following the rules and having the challenges is you have unexpected realizations or unexpected. Or how can I say this? You had unrealistic expectations because you weren't following the rules. OK, that's for some. Of you. Let's take a look at where your head's at right now, Leo. We have eight of wands in reverse. This is Sagittarius energy. So this is delays. OK, so as a result, you're experiencing some delays because perhaps the rules weren't followed or they weren't made clear. OK, and so as a result, there's a hold up in your money. OK, um, maybe something they used to do in the past um, is no longer going on. Um, maybe there was some changes in policy and procedure. OK, and so what used to work in the past uh, no longer works at this time because things have changed. Let's see what the outcome is and then we'll clarify these cards. So outcome for my Leos. We have the seven of swords energy. Okay, so this could be you trying to be very careful, making sure that you follow policy and procedure um, or find out what it is. Maybe you didn't get notification of the changes with the eight of wands here. This could be because this is where your head is at. You're like, wait a minute. I wasn't notified. I didn't get any notification of any changes. I wasn't told that this was not the way that I was supposed to do things. And so the outcome here is um, perhaps there was a situation where, you know, you um, made some steps here and didn't think about what you were doing. Didn't think about, you know, how it could affect you, maybe because you weren't aware of these changes. OK, but this is also moving forward, making sure that you dot all your I's, cross all your T's. You know, you're in your head about this because you don't want to screw this up moving forward. That's what I'm getting just for the general energy here. But we're going to clarify. And of course, this can change once we clarify. Look at the overall energy here for the reading is the four of cups. OK, this is feeling unfulfilled. OK, um, feeling or, or maybe a surprise gift. OK, but I'm getting. Someone's feeling unfulfilled about something because they weren't notified about a change. But let's go ahead and clarify and get some more detailed information on what you guys are experiencing here. So let's take a look at this King of Coins in reverse energy here. Um, this could represent a couple of different things. But as we clarify, um, we'll get into that because it'll come up based on what the energies are that come out these cards. All right, let me shuffle once more. 
Okay, so King of Coins in reverse. So for some of you, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. We also have the uh, Knight of Wands. Okay, so with the Seven of Wands in reverse, with the King of Coins energy here, this is telling me that somebody is no longer fighting for something, no longer defending something. Okay, and they're ready to make a change quickly. So someone is ready to quickly um, move forward with something. It's like, okay, um, with the Seven of Swords here in reverse, I'm sorry, Seven of Wands in, in here in reverse, this is weak boundaries, not standing your ground on something and giving in really quickly. Okay, so this could be with the King of Coins here in reverse. This is somebody who has no follow through. So for some of you, you quit really quickly. You didn't fight for it. Okay, you just gave in. Now for others of you, we have this uh, Six of Pentacles in reverse, as well as the Magician in reverse. So some of you, you know, with this King of uh, Coins in reverse energy, um, you are being greedy. Okay, very greedy, um, and I'm not sure why with this uh, magician here in reverse, um, but this may be because you weren't focused on what was going on. Um, it could be because, um, you, you, I don't know, maybe because you were just wasting money. You could have been wasting money, okay, because the magician in reverse energy is um, wasting resources as well. Okay, so for some of you, you were just blowing your money. All right. So that might be why you're experiencing issues with finances right now. All right. So for others of you, this King of Cups in reverse, King of Coins in reverse energy is um, clarified with the Queen of Swords in reverse. OK. And the uh, Chariot in reverse. Cancerian energy, Major Arcana here. So um, because you're not accepting the reality of what you're doing and how you're doing things, um, you're not going to be able to move forward until you accept that. So for some of you, again, um, with this King of Coins energy, you have um, Taurus. Uranus is in Taurus, okay, right now. So Uranus is having you look at how you look at money, how you make money, um, how much you're making and, and how you're making it and how it makes you feel. As far as your, do you equate your worth and value to the amount of money you have, the amount of possessions you have, things like that. So some of you, you know, you've been spending very frivolously with your money. Okay. Now let's take a look at the challenge here. We have the six of cups in reverse. So this is having unrealistic expectations. Um, this is living in the past. You know, this could also represent um, a rivalry with the six of cups in reverse, you know, um, but let's see what's going on here. We have the King of Pentacles showing up twice in this reading. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, you know, um, you have some unrealistic expectations about things. Um, it's like you were planning and strategizing, but you didn't have the patience to see things through for some of you. Some of you, you know, you wanted to save money, but for whatever reason, you were too anxious and you weren't um, willing to do so. Uh, for some of you, um, you know, usually you would invest in something, but for whatever reason, you decided not to do that. For some of you, we have the Ten of Swords energy here, and we have the um, Temperance energy, Major Arcana, Sagittarius. Okay, so for some of you with the Ten of Swords energy here, um, this is energy of, you know, maybe um, having, um, you're at a completion here where you, you're mentally letting go of past, you know, the way things were in the past. Um, you're getting, you're to the point where you, 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 you're frustrated with it because things can't be the way they used to be. But um, you letting go is going to bring you balance in this situation, emotional balance. Okay. So for some of you, this could be, you know, letting go of the fact that there's a relationship that is no more. Okay. Um, Let's see what else we got here for the Six of Cups in reverse. We have the Knight, I'm sorry, yeah, the Knight of Cups reversed as well as the Four of Cups. Okay, so um, with this um, here, we have the fact that um, somebody is feeling unfulfilled. Maybe you're expecting someone to apologize to you for the way that they were treating you. Or maybe you want to apologize to someone. Um, or maybe you feel that apologizing is not realistic in this situation and you're feeling unfulfilled. You're surprised that this person has not apologized to you. Okay. Or maybe you're feeling as if you shouldn't apologize to someone. Okay. Um, this could also represent um, surprise gifts. 
okay? Because the Four of Cups in reverse um, and the Six of Cups, well, not necessarily, but the Four of Cups in reverse can represent, or the Four of Cups upright can represent gifts, all right? So maybe somebody is thinking about getting someone something, okay? Um, but let's see what this Hierophant energy is, because this is energy here that represents non-conforming energy, non-traditional Okay, and the universe wants you to focus on that or take heed to that because we have the hangman in reverse, someone ready to take action here, Piscean energy. We have the queen of wands in reverse, but someone might be scared. Okay, they might be scared to, um, to, uh, to do something. Someone could be dealing in, um, dark magic. Well, maybe not dark, it could be dark or black magic. Um, dark magic is you working on your, your shadow side, where black magic is you um, doing something with the intent of harming or hurting someone else um, in the occult. So with the, with the hier Hierophant in reverse, this represents, you know, you doing something that is not conforming. It's not traditional. All right. And with the hangman in reverse here and the queen of wands in reverse here, this could be someone who... Um, maybe, um, if they're not doing any type of sorcery or rich or, um, dark shadow work or black magic work, this is somebody who doesn't want to be married. Okay. Somebody who just wants to have fun. They want to sleep with who they want to sleep with and that's it. Um, this could also represent someone who wants to take, um, a stand on something, but they're afraid. Okay. So someone may want to, um, be, um, single, or not be in a relationship, but they're scared to say something, okay? So someone may want to leave a relationship. All right, for others of you, I have the Two of Cups reversed, as well as the Princess of Cups reversed. So yeah, some of you, you're ending a relationship. There's no more love here. You're no longer in love with this person. Um, so you guys are ending your relationship or your marriage. And then for others of you, we have the Seven of Swords reversed. And the uh, Four of Wands. So yeah, some of you, somebody is apologizing. Um, you know, they realize that... We got the Seven of Swords showing up twice in this reading, I meant to just say. Um, but with the Seven of Swords in reverse, this is someone who maybe has gotten caught out there. Okay, so maybe someone was doing something in your home. Okay, maybe your partner slept with someone and got caught. Okay, maybe they had someone in your home and got caught. Um, this is also somebody who wants to apologize here. Um, and with the four of wands, they want to provide stability. So maybe you already split up with this person and now this person wants to come back. Okay, but you're feeling unfulfilled with this situation. Or they're feeling unfulfilled. Now this energy could be you, Leo, or it could be the person you're dealing with. So if you're watching for Leo, um, you know, just take the energy how it resonates and swap the characters as, as need be. Let's take a look at what's on your mind, Leo. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse, so there's no communication. There's travel delays, if any, you know, if there's going to be any traveling. Um, but there's no messages, no communication, no quick communication. So somebody may be getting messages, but they're not answering or not replying. We have the Moon card in reverse, okay? And then we have the um, Four of Pentacles in reverse. So someone's not communicating because they feel as if, you know, they may be taken advantage of or they were taken advantage of. So they've decided not to communicate with this person or they're they're slowing down with their communications with this person. Um, with this moon energy here in reverse as well, this could be, you know, your intuition telling you that, you know, you've been too open with this person because the eight of wands in reverse represents messages. Doesn't matter where they're coming from. This could be your intuition telling you that, you know, you um been spending frivolously for some of you, or you're just too open to this connection here, you know, and you shouldn't be. For others of you, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is um, Jupiter energy, so bad luck, um, things not moving in your favor with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, things are not moving in your favor financially. For a lot of you, you're having some financial difficulty here, and it is because perhaps you're no longer at your job. Some of you decided to quit. For others of you, we have the King of, of uh, Cups in reverse, okay? And we also have the Six of Wands. So, for some of you, um, 
you're not communicating with your person um, and, it, and you're happy. Like this person was very um, manipulative emotionally to you with the King of Cups energy. And it looks as though you, now that you're not communicating with this person, you're much happier. Let's take a look at this Seven of Swords energy as the outcome here and see what this resonate, how this resonates. So yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles reverse. Someone wanted to, um, you know, um, return here, and we also have the Three of uh, Pentacles. So for some of you, um, someone who wants to return here, you have to be careful with them because they are still dealing with someone else. Um, also with this energy here, um, I'm showing that someone lost the job. Um, hmm. But with the Seven of Swords energy here, this is a matter of someone losing a job because of theft. Okay, maybe someone stole from the job. Um, and they returned the money and they're getting their job back. Or maybe they found out that it wasn't you. Maybe there was some discrepancy in reference to some money missing. And they confirmed that it was not you. And you, you know, made sure you dotted all your I's and crossed all your T's. And as a result, you got your job back. For others of you, we have the nine of, I'm sorry, the eight of cups reverse. Okay, so this is learning a lesson, walking away. And we have the uh, queen of cups. So some of you walked away from a situation um, because you knew that this person, or you realized that this person was deceiving you, okay, and that they didn't love you, and they weren't being supportive or nurturing to the relationship. For others of you, we have the ace of pentacles, and we have... The uh, Knight of Swords. So with the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, this is someone wanting a relationship, but they're not being honest about it. They want to connect with you, but they're not being 100% um, honest about it. They're tipping, tippy-toeing around just to try to get your feel, your vibe on things, to see how you feel about it. Um, but they want to they want to reach out and they want to communicate with you because they're feeling unfulfilled in reference to this relationship. OK, so that's for some of you. So a lot of financial um, energy going on here with you guys um, in reference to your relationships. Some of you, you know, you're realizing that in the past here, you know, you um, maybe you put in work, but your other partner didn't. OK, and so as a result, you know, you know, they were emotionally abusive. Um, you guys weren't on the same page. There was um, money issues as well. Yeah. And you were feeling unfulfilled. And so as a result, a lot of you broke up with the Ten of Cups here in reverse and the Ten of, of Pentacles here in reverse. Um, a lot of you separated. You're tapping into your higher self. A lot of you um, were getting intuish, intuitive nudges in reference to the situation. Um, for some of you, you, you had a, a gut feeling that someone had someone in your house is what I'm what I'm feeling here with the four of wands in reverse. Four of wands showing up twice here in this reading. And then we have the ace of cups in reverse. So you realize that this person did not love you. How would you have someone in my house if you loved me? How could you be intimate with someone in my home if you loved me? Um, also, you're getting intuitive nudges that this is not where you need to be. Okay? And so you realize that there's no love in this relationship here. And you've known that for a while here with the two of swords. But it was a matter of you making a decision. You've also known that your person was dealing with other people with the three of coins in reverse. Um, but you making a decision to end this will end the third party situation. Um, because, yeah, this person, you know, for some of you, you cut this person off. They want to come back, but they're still dealing with this other person. OK, that's for some of you. For others of you, you know, you this person, um, they learned their lesson. Well, they, yeah, they learned their lesson. And um, or you learned your lesson and you left them be and now you're happy for others of you. There's somebody who really wants a relationship with you, um, but they could be coming to you telling you this, but they could be lying to you. So you guys are definitely going to have to listen to your intuition in this situation for sure. Um, but you definitely need some time to heal. So I would recommend that if anybody came back to you, you would take your time slowly, not jumping into anything. I don't care how long you've known this person. And that way you'll get your justice. OK, because for some of you, the relationship you were in, there's no growth in it. And you know this with the emperor in reverse. You know this, you know, this partner, this person has been dealing with multiple people. OK, whether you are married or not. And um, for some of you, you know, your person met someone new. OK, and so a lot of you right now, you're just sitting here trying to get a better understanding of things, trying to figure things out with the hangman energy before you make a decision. Um, 
but you definitely want to do things that are going to make you happy with the nine of cups here. Now, some of you with the nine of swords here, you're stressed out with the situation. Okay. You want love. You want a stable, um, loving partner. You want someone that you can connect with in an emotional way. But um, some of you may be um, considering reconnecting with someone from your past. Or someone from your past could be coming. And like I said, in the past, this was a tumultuous relationship with the devil energy in reverse. You got really tired of this with the um, Ten of Wands energy. Okay. And you stepped into your power with the Queen of Wands energy. And you set truth to the situation. Um, I'm sorry, you moved forward. You quickly moved forward with this situation. Yeah, you got tired of this. You got tired of being treated as, as you know, somebody. It was just sex. For a lot of you, it was just a strong sexual connection. Okay? Yeah. But some of you, you know, you realize that. And so with the six of coins here... Um, you know, you want a situation where there's give and take. So you're willing to change things right away, a lot of you, okay? You're not fighting for this relationship anymore with the Seven of Wands in reverse. And, um, you know, a lot of you realize that this person was manipulating you, okay, with the Magician in reverse and the Three of Swords. This person was playing games, lying, deceiving you, okay? This also represents Mercury retrograde, okay? You remembering back on how this person broke your heart with these Three of Swords over here. OK, so for a lot of you, it's just a matter of this king of coins and reverse energy is somebody who has no real follow through. OK, this is somebody who could be very jealous and envious. OK, that you're dealing with or you were dealing with. For some of you, this is a work situation here um, where you lost your job because of rules and regulations that weren't followed or weren't applied. OK, someone maybe tried to dodge out on the rules um, and unfortunately you got caught. OK, so let me get you guys some advice and see what messages spirit has for you guys. What do we got for my Leos? What messages do we have for Leo? So for some of you is saying forgiveness, um, forgiving yourself and another will help you move forward. So for a lot of you moving out of this situation, the first thing you have to do is, you know, forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be in the situation as long as you have. And then it may be difficult, but you really need to forgive this other person. Doesn't mean that you need to be best friends and, and speak to them. You can continue to not communicate with them, but you do need to forgive them so that you can move forward in a healthy way. OK, a lot of you had unrealistic expectations about this relationship. A lot of you knew this person was cheating on you. Um, and for some of you, you just you had enough. And you know that if this person comes back for some of you, they are trying to come back. That they're up to their same shit. They, they haven't changed anything. All right. And this could be you, Leo, too. You could be the one who's trying to go back to someone, you know, be, and someone who left you behind because they realize that, you know, you weren't doing what they, you know, you weren't being upfront and honest. All right. And you may be trying to get back in this person's good graces here. Passion. Try something you've never done before. So for some of you, leaving this situation alone for good. Okay. Is what is going to be the, you know, is going to be the thing that you're going to need to do. Okay. Because for some of you, you've been in this relationship a while. All right. And trying something new is letting it go. All right. Karmic relationships are coming to an end at this time. For some of you, you're rejected by this person. Like I said, this person cheated on you. They left you. Um, and so some of you are feeling really jaded with the king of, of coin energy in reverse here. Very jaded, um, miserable, angry that this person um, moved on. Some of you, they lied to you, you know, and, and, and told you they weren't dealing with anybody else, but they are. OK. And so for some of you, the universe is saying it exactly. Karmic relationships are being closed out. For some of you, you at getting out of this relationship is going to bring you the wheel of fortune, but it's going to bring it to you in the upright. Right now, it's in reverse, meaning that you've not had any good luck with this person or ever since you've dealt with this person, your luck has diminished financially as well. OK, so for some of you, you got to clear this energy out so that your money will be right is what I'm getting here. Okay. So Leo, please let me know if this resonated by um, clicking the like button. If you want to leave a comment, I do love to read them. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe. I post weekly. So if this didn't resonate with you, check your other um, placements. Um, and because I post weekly, you can check the ones for last week or you can wait until the new post comes for the following week.
All right. I love you guys and I will see you on the next post. Peace out, Leo.